So I'm at Elk Island National Park now. This package with e <laughs> You are not her father. Why is she crying? You're coming in my heart, you still my child. I know Miss Ewing, do you know who her father is? Yeah, I do. And it's his brother. What the? F oh, oh my Mr. God. Mr. Hawkins' brother? Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I mean, usually it's the neighbor or the father or the uncle or whatever. So I'm not really that surprised if I'm being honest. It's just this is just how uh, life rolls, I'm afraid. Meanwhile, thank you. Never told your parents. I suck my own. It's presumed to be 14 in boys and 12 in girls. Tom, what is the age of consent? No, get the rocks, <laughs> yeah. Abdul. Yeah, get the rocks. Get the rocks. I think it's probably one of the aside. I personally I would not advocate for employers to go looking to see how qualified the candidates are by the first thing that they're searching up after they see the name on the resume. Let's see if they have an only. It account. comes up pretty quickly. And it, when it, you it wouldn't be that as part of their history any more than I think it's relevant for an employer to be like, let's look through their Facebook, let's look through their Twitter to specifically comb through their prospective like applicants' internet history. Okay, in internet, that way. internet history and only are two different things. Only be part of your internet. Okay. So, okay. so if I'm a aside, CEO and do. I'm hiring somebody, let's say I'm hiring a salesperson to close high ticket deals and they're talking with important people on a daily basis. And right. I'm sending that salesperson to go speak with these people. And if any of those people that they speak to look up that person's name and they find of them all over the internet, obviously they're going to take me and my company far less seriously if I have somebody working like that for me. How can your, you say that that's not important? Just... That's the thing though with all this, like all these OF girls, they know they talk shit they know that the guy is correct they know that they just play dumb because this is how it is they just play dumb and they will make up whatever mental gymnastics in their head to justify their lives because that job gets them a lot of money and they don't have to do anything they just have to take their clothes off and that's it there's no production value quality with uh, the movies that they do it's just amateur porn yeah, put on the internet and then it's consumed by men because the overwhelming majority of men are losers. They will pay for OnlyFans, they will sim, they will do whatever they want. That is why women are generally attracted to only a specific percentage of men and that's it. The rest of men don't exist and this is how evolution unfortunately works. I work here because I have the media now. I bought these and I wore these last night. I was with my boyfriend and now I have chlamydia. And my boyfriend, he does not cheat on me. My boyfriend doesn't lie to me, so I know my boyfriend didn't give me chlamydia. Babe, how come you have a list of like men's names in your phone? There's like a hundred in here. Oh, babe, don't look at that. It's um. Oh, so you know what? Don't even say it. I know it. I it. You're planning our baby's names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I knew it. I knew it. And apparently you're rooting for a guy. Cause that's, yeah. that's a lot of names. Oh, <laughs> looks like a lot of the names are repeated. Oh, that must be a mistake. They're, they're actually ranked. Okay, so you so you got favorites. Okay, so we got um, eight out of 10 for Ethan. Okay, bet. Uh, seven out of 10 for Ryan. Okay. Um, and then wet emoji out of 10 for Jaquavius. Huh, hmm. okay, yeah, I mean, Jaquavius. Yeah, I guess we could talk about this, but you know, it's definitely not like, definitely not like a huge thing, though. But yeah, that's that's actually wild, though. Um, I don't know why you put wet emoji, though. Now that I think about it, I, I guess that just means you really like it. But <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, but I'm glad you're planning for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, he's dying inside, Jaquavius. I didn't know that's a real name, but um, it is now. A Apparently. Other than that, boys, if you want to date, especially in a big metropolitan city, degenerate city, and you're thinking that uh, you're gonna find the love of your life in that setting, 
you are setting yourself up for failure because these women, the things they have done, the mileage that they have, it's heartbreaking and we see that as shameful. It, it really is, like the bigger the number, it's the more shame it brings us because it does. Know why we disrespect you guys, right? Okay, um, this looks like for the for the women that love you, that get out of pocket, okay? Because there's just like some naturally psychotic women that's like, she's just going to be out of pocket for everyone. So the way uh, there's a doctor, his name is Dr. Egeritz. He talks about love and respect, right? And it's in the Bible too, where women are commanded to respect their husbands and husbands mm -hmm. are commanded to love their wives, right? And there's a reason for Sorry. that. And so when, when I feel unloved, you know, we tend to get disrespectful. And then if you feel like I'm disrespecting you, you're going to go out of your way to make sure that I don't feel loved and you're not going to cuddle with me. And it goes into this cycle and you never know when to hop off because it's like, well, do I want to hop off? No, he should hop off. When really it's like, once you know you're in the cycle, you, you should just hop off just for the greater good. Whoever figures it out first. So yeah, I think that that's a, that's a common thing because um, when men blow up, Nobody ever asks, what did she say? And I feel like we should start asking because it's really bad. And it's mad because they <laughs> Yeah, because uh, men are natural whores and cheap. And we are going to stick our dicks in pretty much anything, really. <laughs> Even a cold pie. That's why they made a movie called American Pie. Because that thing actually happens in real life. Now, there has to be an exchange where the woman has to actually respect the husband and the husband has to actually respect the wife and unfortunately that doesn't really happen in today's relationships and i know for me personally like i never loved anyone i mean i'm trying now but and i don't want the woman's respect either just be a pleasant human to be around and have a fat ass and that's it i love you my ex cracked meaning I'm not playing with you. Mm. I want my eggs cracked. Meaning I want a child. A I want child. my name dropped. Meaning I want to be married. I'm not <laughs> around with you. I am not your bed maiden. I am not your maid. I am not your floozy or your <laughs> You are going to have to give me something substantial because I know I'm worth that. I'm not all there. Sometimes I have my moments, but I know one thing. I'm good to you. Uh, you kind of have to avoid this type of women. The second she imposes a bunch of stuff on you, it's over. And you just have to be really, really honest with yourself. Do I want to start a family? Do I want to be a husband, a father? Or do I just want to be a fuckboy for the rest of my life and just... I don't know, just stay out of people's businesses if, if, uh, if the women want to start a family, just, just get out. Meanwhile, marriageable man or your Instagram, go ahead. Marriageable man. My boyfriend already said for him, I'm going to delete my Instagram soon, actually, because I see Instagram oh. as just a dating app. Whoa. It is a dating app. Good Based. Answer. Based. Okay. Um, and was that something that you arrived at? on your own or was it yeah kind of because i mean again if you're a certain level of attraction even for girls even if you're unattractive you're still gonna get guys in your dm yeah. it doesn't matter because we can get a guy easier than a guy can get a girl and so for me i just i want to make him <coughs> feel like he's the only man and that comes with making him feel like he has a certain level of status so i'll gladly delete my instagram i don't <laughs> think i've ever heard a girl say that on the show we've interviewed <laughs> over a hundred people if she's actually serious, yeah, good for her. For me personally, I feel like that's a bit of an extreme solution, if I'm being honest. Just don't flirt with anyone. Just show off your boyfriend like, hey, I'm dating him, I love him. Just kind of stay out of my DMs because I'm going to block you. Other than that, I don't know. It's just, it's still good for socializing and, you know, following people and all that stuff, right? But you don't necessarily have to... Uh, respond to the dms or do any of that stuff like how many people are actually messaging you and sliding in your dms i mean it's a lot but like on a daily basis i'm assuming it's not really that high so you don't have to delete the app just use it in a different way and that's it marriageable man or instagram so would you get rid of your instagram or social media for a marriageable man Lexi. Would you give up your career for a man is the question. Well, you... Because I'm a singer, so I need my Instagram and yes. social media. Yeah, no. Exactly. Okay. And doesn't it seem... Because I'm a singer. 
she kind of has a point, but don't use this as an excuse to keep Instagram as a dating app. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, I would say it's a pretty reasonable thing to ask from like, hey, don't flirt with anyone on the internet because it makes me look bad as a man and everyone is gonna think that I'm an idiot because I uh, show up with you on the internet but uh, you're out here flirting and sexting all these men even if you're not meeting them and fucking them it's still like disrespectful so I, w I wouldn't take this level of disrespect personally I mean she fine but you giving me flashbacks what kind? you stole my mink coat in, in Milwaukee I didn't stay A girl look just like you stole my mink coat in Milwaukee. I'm from DC. I don't even be in Milwaukee. I know, but if if I might get flashbacks that you gonna take something else from me. I like a thief. To the left. <laughs> she fucked it up for you. She fucked it up. <laughs> I'm intimidating. Yeah. A lot of people say that till you till you get to know me. Hell yeah. I'm in school for dental hygiene. Well, why you got pink hair if you're in school for dental hygiene? <laughs> why not? What's wrong with it? You don't like it? I mean, it's it's not fitting the job description. That's I feel true. like dental hygiene is not supposed to have pink hair. Okay. That's all right. You wanna get your teeth done by dental hygiene with pink hair? No. No. If I walked in the dentist's office and you had pink hair, you is not getting in my mouth. I'm That's sorry. okay. That's all right. <laughs> to the right. To the right? No, to the left. To the, to the left. left. To the left. All right, bet, bet, bet. Yeah.